can summon the user menu by pressing the joystick at the bottom of the QD OLED panel. And if we go up by one step, this will bring up the picture menu. And if we go right, there are various picture presets that have been provided by Alienware on this QD OLED monitor. The default out of the box is standard. And then if we go down one step, this would be the creator picture preset. And you may be able to see from the video that the image has dimmed on screen. That's because it is targeting the DCI P3 brightness value. So it will be darker than what most people are used to. And then if we go into color space, it allows us to change between DCI P3 and also sRGB color space. If we go back one step and go down to gamma, Again, you can adjust the gamma value on this monitor in 0.2 step increments. So I think 2.6 gamma is correct for DCI-P3, and then 2.4 gamma is correct for BT-1886, and 2.2 gamma would be correct for sRGB and also for using this monitor during daytime. And then if we go back by one step, and we can go down to FPS, and this is just a pre-customized picture preset from Dell or Alienware for playing first-person shooter games. The main difference is that Dark Stabilizer is set to 3 by default. And then you can pre-customize it for real-time strategy, role-playing game, sports mode. And also inside game mode, I think Dell has provided 3 game picture presets and under each game picture preset, you can actually adjust the three primary colors of red, green, and blue, and the three secondary colors of cyan, magenta, and yellow. So this is presumably Alienware's Color Management System, or CMS. And with Dark Stabilizer, this adjusts the near black gamma, so the default of zero is technically the most accurate and most correct. I think, you know, before actually putting any meter on screen to measure. But if you increase it, then it will brighten the near black gamma to make shadow detail more visible. And this may be very helpful in some online games which are quite dark and you want to see the enemies lurking in the shadow, you can use this. But for the most accurate picture, I generally turn all this image enhancement off. And then with warm, this will be using a redder color temperature. With cool, this will be using a bluer color temperature. And then under custom color, you can calibrate the grayscale, basically the R, which stands for red, green, and blue white balance. And this is just a single point white balance control. And if we go back by a few steps. Under HDR mode, you get two choices, HDR 400 True Black and also HDR Peak 1000. This has different purpose in terms of the ABL or Automatic Brightness Limiter Management because this Alienware QD OLED is restricted by ABL, which means that the full screen brightness is always going to be less bright than a small window. So with the HDR Peak 1000, you will be able to achieve a higher peak brightness on a small window but because of that, you may experience more jarring ABL changes. And with HDR400, you cap the maximum peak brightness of the display, but as a result, you will get a smoother ramp in terms of the ABL changes. And depending on your needs, you may want to choose one or the other. And then what we will do is to go down to brightness and contrast I think with this brightness, it is to do with the OLED backlight rather than the video black level. But again, I will need to check. So darkening it will darken the whole picture, you know, by decreasing the OLED backlight. And then with contrast, this affects the digital white level. If you drop it too low, then you will be compressing the dynamic range. I will need to check whether this display clips wider than white using my own test pattern. And then with Alien FX lighting, you can customize the lights behind the monitor to give you a cool effect for gamers out there. And then with Personalize, this allows you to customize the shortcut keys. And in case you're not aware what the shortcut keys are, 
if we press the menu button, you can see you know, volume and also preset modes, dark stabilizer, brightness, contrast, input source, these are the shortcut keys. And basically, Alienware allows you to customize it and change it to some of the more frequently used functions that you need. For example, you know, you can change to any of these. And then with others, display info, this is indeed the AW3423 DW, that's a mouthful monitor. And it supports DisplayPort 1.4, but only HDMI 2.0, and it supports G-Sync Ultimate. And then with OLED panel maintenance, you get two options here, pixel refresh and panel refresh. The easy way to think about this is that this is similar to the minor and major compensation cycles on WRGB OLED televisions and these two functions is to reduce the risk of image retention and OLED burn-in. I will be spending the next few weeks testing and reviewing this QD OLED monitor and once the review is ready, you can watch the video here.